The Botanical Lake Gardens is a beautiful park in the center of Kuala Lumpur. One easy way is to park at the National Museum and walk across the pedestrian bridge to the Botanical Gardens. Or you can actually park at the public car park near the Botanical Gardens. As we walk across the pedestrian bridge, enjoy the views. Here is the nearest entrance from the pedestrian walk bridge. There are other entrances around the park. First, as we enter, we walk towards the lake. We enjoy the beautiful trees along the way. Many of the trees are very old and very large and tall. So here we keep walking towards the Perdana Lake, which is the main lake in the Botanical Lake Gardens. Towards the evening time, there could be a lot of people doing exercise here. Here we are walking towards the Perdana Lake. It's a beautiful place in the morning and evenings. Afternoons will be quite warm. As we explore the area, we can see many different trees and wildlife. This is a small monitor lizard around the park. There are many collections of bamboo plants around the garden as well. As the wind blows, it gives a peaceful sound of uh, rustling leaves. We then walk towards Laman Perdana, which is the covered area with the beautiful sunroof. It's very majestic looking. And around the area, we can see very unique trees. As we walk towards Laman Perdana, we can stand in awe of the beautiful sunroofs. As we explore the area, we come across many different and unique beautiful trees. Along the park, there are many paved walkways. And very many unique trees as well. We take a walk and cross over the walk bridge to the Saikat Island in the middle of the lake. Here, over the stream of water, we can take many photos. And we walk towards the bamboo playhouse. This is a very unique area made predominantly of bamboo. And it's a great place for photos as well. One of the other main attractions here is the Bamboo Playhouse. As we check out the other sections of the lake and go around it, we come to the Heliconia Garden. They are beautiful flowering plants. As we walk through this area, we can see different colors of flowers. So we keep walking and we get to a special area called the Oasis Garden. It is a beautiful garden with a small pond and beautiful plants and streams of water flowing creating a very peaceful area.
we keep walking and exploring the area. Nearby, there is a small waterfall. This is also a great place for resting and photos. Nearby is the palm garden with lots of different palm trees. Some are quite tall, some are shrubby. Then we get to the sunken, sunken garden, a round garden that is a little bit below ground level, hence the name sunken garden. This also is a great place for photos. At the center, it has a beautiful fountain. Let's take another walk. Nearby is the Lake Gardens Conservatory. It's a nice place to relax, sit and enjoy the plants and flowers. This is almost like a greenhouse. <laughs> So they have chairs and benches for visitors to relax and enjoy the area. Nearby is the herb and spice garden. It's a small area with a few different spice plants. So there are things like medicinal herbs, aquatic herbs and so on. A good place to learn about local plants. There are places to sit and rest as well within the herb and spice garden. Kids will love this next place, the Fantasy Planet Playground. There are slides and swings and places for the kids to climb and explore. It's located in the garden as well and with a lot of greenery around also becomes a good place for photos. From here, we walk and go to the nearby Laman Lotus Pond. Here, we can see quite a few lotus plants in the pond. It's a beautiful setting for photos. Nearby is the Anniversary Theatre. When I visited, it was closed. We can see it from the outside. Short walk nearby is the bird watching area. It's another part of the garden with more plants, more trees, a small stream. It's a beautiful green area. Along the way, we can visit the exotic fruit trees. Special trees include the poisonous sausage tree and the cannonball tree with very unique looking fruits. And finally, we get to the Deer Park or Taman Rusa. When I was here, I did not specifically see deers. 
It is a beautiful garden with small streams of water. This is a good place to take our time and walk and enjoy the area. Best time to visit lake gardens is in the morning or evening when it's not warm. These are 18 attractions at the Botanical Lake Gardens of Kuala Lumpur. Be sure to come and visit here.